What's up, girl bosses? So, so we just teched out uh, the, the Lil Uzi Vert track featuring Bring Me The Horizon. And I decided, you know, that song was sick. Very Deftones-like. Uh, that, that reaction should be up on the channel if you haven't seen it already. So we're going to check out the other uh, metal act that featured on his album, uh, Baby Metal. They featured on this song called The End. Uh, I'm hoping it's also heavy. Uh, I imagine this is a very diverse album. Uh, so I'm just kind of pick and choose and seeing what I like. If I like it, that's sick. If I don't, oh well, you know, not every song's for everyone. Uh, but I say we do it before we do. We really appreciate it. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. It's free. Helps Santa Tonics. We find new music. Speaking of new music, I have my own project, Sunscourge, which you can find in the description down below along with all my social media links. I am so versed at that. Hell yeah, let's go. Whoa. Baby Metal's an interesting case because I don't always like the tracks Baby Metal drops. Oh! Was that Lil Uzi's voice? Dude, this is a pale dust song. I think I'm having an aneurysm. <laughs> I can't think right now. Am I okay? I'm okay. I think I'm good. <laughs> I'm such a fucking zoomer for laughing at that. <laughs> Yo, I, I don't feel right. <laughs> I feel wrong listening to this. Am I dying? That made good content though. That sounds like the Telly W uh, Tele Dubbies. Ah, oh, the joke's ruined. Ah. Oh. Sounds like the Telly Tubbies did the five dollar foot long of uh, of cocaine. And I am I'm, I I feel unwell. I don't feel right. Listening to that, I was like my fucking circadian rhythms off like I'm gonna have a heart attack in like seven days or something. I I feel I felt wrong listening to that. I felt delirious. I felt delirious. I did like the song though. That was like pretty sick. Definitely felt like a baby metal song. I am really curious because like you know we heard some some nice screams in the 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 track featuring Bring Me the Horizon. I'm curious if some of the screams we heard here were a little Lucy Vert. We'll love we'll love to find that out. We'll love to find that out. He's a Lorna fan. He's a Lorna fan. How could he not want to scream? It'd also be funny if he did. But yeah, uh, sick song. Big 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 pale dusk vibes, or should I just say baby metal vibes? I mean, P pale dusk does have that amount of chaos. Like, this is a song Pale Dusk would drop. So if you like this, check out Pale Dusk. They're another uh, Japanese band. Uh, but yeah, also very diverse, uh, or very different from what uh, the track featuring Bring Me the Horizon sounded like. I'd imagine that every track on this album brings something different. But this is cool. Like, this is two metal songs on the album of 
you know, a, a very, very big, very mainstream artist. So that's like, that's cool. That's cool exposure. I mean, uh, Drake, uh, you know, you know, uh, plug in Chaney Crab stuff. Though I don't know, I don't know Drake's intentions. You know, dude, Drake, uh, you, keep your children away from him. Uh, but, you know, it's cool. Metal's like, yeah, it's, it's getting a lot of mainstream exposure. Pretty sick stuff. Pretty, pretty awesome. But yeah, curious what you guys think of this song. Uh, what do you, what do you think about this type of exposure? I think it's pretty sick. Personally, I love, um, you know, the more, more collaborative sounds. Uh, that makes no sense. Let's restart from the beginning. I like songs that combine a lot of different genres that pull from a bunch of different stuff because it's novelty. I, I think when, uh, you know, you get, you, bands that are kind of uh, self-enclosed but you know there's not a lot of room in the sound hardcore oh brother pure hardcore band hardcore bands all sound like each other they all sound like each other i said it i said it it's just it, it, and it's lame but then you mix hardcore with some other stuff even within metal like hardcore death metal deathcore hardcore whatever metalcore is you get that. I, don't, I personally don't like metalcore, but you get it. Uh, you know, you blend from stuff even further outside the genre. You know, you know, you get your electronic music. You know, you go like what a electric cowboy does. Uh, it's it's pretty sick stuff. You can get like really cool blends just from pulling from outside genres. And I, I like that. I like that a lot. Like uh, we butter the bread with butter. They're they're big big on pulling from different genres. Uh, Pale dust. They they they're they're on drugs. They're on drugs. But yeah, I think the more collaborative. Uh, not collaborative. I, I keep wanting to say that. I don't know why. Uh, the more diverse the influences that go into a song are, just the more unique it is, and I think the more value it has, personally. Personally. Because why, why, why would you want to make a song that sounds like something that's been done in the genre before? Because, you know, what, people are just going to listen to the best iteration of that sound. I say this all the time. I say this all the time. Make something different. Make something different. It actually upsets me sometimes when I hear songs that just sound so so stereotyped. They, when they sound like a parody of, of the genre they represent. I, I, I think that's lame. I think it's lame. It's like, what, what did you accomplish? Even if it's a very popular song, it's like, what's the point? It's nothing new. It's nothing new. Or even like, if it's not done the best it's ever been done, it's like... Why, why would I return to a song that's just like not... The best version of that sound, right? Because then it's like, I mean, I say this all the time too. See, and I'm I'm rambling like an uncle at a cookout it's with a little less racism and misogyny. But you know, artists that drop albums, you know, where it's like eight eight to eleven songs, eight to twelve songs, but then all the songs are pretty much the same song, right? What was the point in that? Why would I go back and listen to the full album when all the songs sound the same, right? It gets tiresome. It gets boring. This is cool. I like this. I have a lot of respect for uh, what Lil Uzi Vert did here. Uh, even though I may not like all of the songs on this album, in fact, I probably am only going to like these two songs that I checked out, it's cool that there's, like, something in this album for everyone. Allegedly. I don't know. I would have to check the rest of it out. But I'd imagine I would I'd start listening to a song five seconds in, I'd be like, this is not for me. I'd be like, this is not for me. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I just give it a chance. Maybe I give it a chance just to see, just to see what this album's about. But yeah, really curious what you guys think of this track, uh, how it compares to the Bring Me Horizon track. Just curious, just curious. Let me know what you guys think.